डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कॉन्टेक्ट जब हम बात करते हैं कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस की तो हमने इसको सोशल कॉन्टेक्ट लर्निंग थियोरी के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में भी डिस्कस किया हमने इसको एज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस के कॉन्टेक्स में भी डिस्कस किया और अब हम बात करने जा रहे हैं कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस का ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कॉन्टेक्स्ट में हम कैसे इस तरह की कम्युनिटीज डेवलप करते हैं और किस तरह ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल किस तरह के ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल चैलेंजेस हो सकते हैं विद इन एंड आउटसाइड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप आ कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इन दिस रिगार्ड इज दैट कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आर डायनेमिक इंटरेक्टिव एंड फ्लूड देयर मैनेजमेंट कैन नॉट बी कैरिड आउट विद इस्टेब्लिश कंट्रोल मैकेनिज्म तो इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द मैनेजमेंट वी टॉक अबाउट द फॉर्मल मैनेजमेंट एंड वी टॉक अबाउट द इस्टेब्लिश प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट इन विच वी ट्राई टू कंट्रोल सर्टन काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट इफ वी अप्लाई सच काइंड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑन ऑनलाइन कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस दिस कैन नॉट बी प्रोडक्टिव फॉर द कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस and if we do so uh, we can uh, lose the uh, potential of the community of uh, uh, practice and if we uh, control it and then if we monitor it with strict principles we may not achieve the agenda of the development of the online community of practice why this happened uh, because community of practice constitute an opportunity to stimulate the process of socialization in organization so this kind of online platform provide uh, its members to interact with each others to exchange ideas with each others and to uh, develop a kind of understandings uh, for the betterment of the organization and if we carry strict management over there uh, then it may not be productive for the organization one of the main reasons for the spontaneous action of cultivating a community of practice is the common interest of members so uh, these uh, communities have been developed on common interest and when we develop it on common interest it means that we are taking all them as an uh, equal individuals and uh, we do not follow the formal uh, management rules on those members as individuals in practice it is people who build knowledge in a social manner which help members learn or share different points of view on technical or social problems and to exchange solution or even to create them so uh, this is how it is different from the from the official uh, official life and from the uh, office life so this kind of online community network uh, enable its members Uh, belonging to a particular organization to socialize with each other and uh, while they are socializing with each others they may discuss uh, their uh, issues of the organization they may discuss the uh, problems their organization are facing and by doing so they can uh, bring uh, the solutions of those problems and maybe they devise a policy to address those issues within the context of cop learning is thought of as path in which those who learn move from the group's periphery towards its cores while they contribute and learn they become increasingly interested in the community and end up being active and important members of it where apart from sharing knowledge members can also share beliefs and practice so this is the point of view of bahab and duffy 2000 uh, they believe that um, why uh, you have to uh, uh, promote community of, of practices in organization because it allows the members to uh, move from the periphery to cores by contributing in the organization so the way they contribute in the periphery and on the basis of their contribution they can move towards the core of the organization 
and uh, this is how a uh, community of practice can be productive for the organizations thank you